My worst Mother's Day ever was that my son is dead. Family and friends are mourning the loss of Stephen Miley. The 37-year-old was stabbed on Saturday and died three days later. Police have identified a suspect but not made an arrest at this point. Color 10 Sydney Moran is live outside Springfield PD after speaking with Miley's mother, brothers, and friend. Well, everyone says Miley was a giver, and even in his death, he's still giving back, something his family says he was born to do. When I first got the phone call, I already knew my son was gone. It's been a roller coaster of emotions for Stephen Miley's family. You're in shock, and then you're okay, and then you just have to go through the process, and then you're in shock again, and then you're falling apart again. On Saturday, police say Miley was dropped off at Cox North Hospital with a stab wound. He was then rushed to Cox South, but eventually died from his injuries. Absolute devastation. While conducting the investigation, Springfield homicide detectives found out the stabbing happened at a house on Commercial Street. Who would do that? Why would they do that? I mean, he didn't have the perfect life, but he sure didn't deserve to be stabbed in the back. Friend Heather Cole says she knew Miley for over a decade and he had worked to turn his life around after getting in trouble with the law. I met him 12 years ago um, when I became homeless and he, uh, he helped me through the first week, kind of put me under his wing and sheltered me and helped me get adjusted, I guess you could say. Even after his death, Miley's mom and brother say he's still taking care of others by being an organ donor. It gives me peace knowing that from a tragic situation, at least his organs are good. You know, what are the odds? Now Miley's family can continue to find peace in the pain, knowing part of their son and brother will live on in others. For Mother's Day, I didn't get his call. But he is going to, I know he's thrilled knowing there are lots of moms getting a call. And he would be right here saying, Mom, that's the way I want it. That's good. Don't be sad, Mom. And the story doesn't end. It continues. Det Detectives are gathering more information before submitting the case to the Greene County Prosecutor's Office. If you do have information, please say go ahead and call the department. Reporting in Springfield, Sydney Moran, Ozarks First.